Hello everyone. Welcome to part 44 of SQL for beginner series. In this video session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use alter statement, add keyword, modify column keyword, rename column keyword and drop column keyword. So what I'm going to explain in this video session, I'm going to explain how to use alter statement in SQL statements, add keyword, okay, add keyword, then modify column keyword, then rename column keyword, then drop column keyword. All these things I'm going to explain in this video session. So what exactly I'm going to do? Let's say there is a table. Let's say there is a table having three columns like this. Using the statement sign keywords, I'm going to explain this kind of stuff. Okay, I'm going to show you what is possible. Let's say there is a table. Okay, let's say the table name is employees table. This table has three columns like ID, name, experience. ID name, experience. Now, the requirement is to add another column here. Okay. I would like to add one more column on the right side of the existing columns. A new column I would like to add with a particular name. Let's say I would like to add a column having the new column having the name as location. For this, we have to use add keyword. Okay. Along all these keywords will be used with the alter statement. Yes. Okay. All these keywords that is add, modify column, rename column, drop column will be used with the alter statement. So in order to add a column, new column to the existing table, we have to use add keyword with the alter statement. Once added, if you want to modify, okay, while adding, we'll specify the data type. Let's say you specified the data type for this uh, newly added uh, location column as where care of 15, size is 15. Now using modify column, keyword along with alter statement, you can change the data type. That is instead of where care, you can change it to int or you can change the where care of 15 to where care of 20. Everything, everything is possible guys. Okay. So using modify column keyword with alter statement, you can change the data type from where care of 15 to either int or where care of 15 to where care of 20. Anything is possible. You can modify the data type. Then next one is rename column. Okay. So if you want to rename this location to, let's say some small short form like LOC, okay. If you want to rename the name of this column to LOC, you have to use rename column, then drop column. If you want to delete this column, okay, then you have to use any column, not only this column, any column. If you want to delete, you have to say drop column, okay. You can add the column, add a new column, modify the data type of the column then rename the name of the column, then drop any existing columns. All these things are possible with the help of the alter statement and these keywords, different keywords can be used with the alter statement to perform all these things. Now let me move to the practical mode where I'm going to showcase you or practically demonstrate how to use the alter statement along with this for different keywords for performing different operations. So, in order to perform, okay, there is a table here, guys, employees table. I would like to perform all those operations, okay, on this employees table. But before doing that, I have to select this database. How to select the database? I have to say use QFOX, okay, and run it. Now the QFOX database got selected. After selecting the database, I have to find out how many tables are there under the QFOX database. How to do that? I have to say show tables. Now all the tables that are there in this particular QFOX database, that is only one table is that, that is employees table. Now, I would like to know what are the different columns, okay, and what are the different columns inside this employees table along with their data types, okay. For that, I have to use describe table name. Table name is employees, right, describe employees. When I say describe employees, so at present, there are three columns. First column is ID column, having the data type as in. Second column is name column, having the data type as where care of 15. Third column is experience having the data type as int. That's fine. Now, using the alter statement, I would like to add one more column. First column, second column, third column. I would like to add fourth column. So for that alter table, this is the syntax says employees. 
okay alter table employees add the column name you have to give okay you have to say add column name is you can write in a single statement if you want alter table employees add column name i would like to give as location and data type for this is where care of 15 let's say like this you have to specify so this statement when you execute okay you can uh, break into two statements uh, i mean two lines of statement if you want to make it more readable alter table employees add location where care this will add a new column that is location with the name location and uh, its data type as where care so let's run this you see uh, the, uh, this has been executed now again run this describe employees to see whether how many columns are now available in that particular table after id name experience a new column get added that is location with the data type as where care of 15 okay this is how we have to use add keyword with the alter statement next one next one is alter table employees okay modify column modify column is a keyword i am using with the alter statement so which what i want to modify i want to modify this where care of 15 to int data type okay what is the column name location location for location column name i would like to modify the or change the data type from where care 15 to int like this okay so run this and again run this describe employees so once this is executed once this uh, alter table employees modify column location int is executed then you can execute describe employees you see this time the same four columns are there uh, and you see the data type got of this particular location column has been changed from where of 15 to int now int now okay now another modification we'll do that is alter table employees modify column okay location let's change back to same where care of 15 let's change back the database uh, i mean data type of this uh, location column to where care of 15 again done so it's running yeah it got so describe employees again the location data type got changed to where care of 15 and if i want to change the data type i want to increase the size case this modify column not only changing the database uh, data type from where care to int but also where care of 15 to where care of 20 also can be done at present where care of 15 is there i am going to change the data type size to where care size to 20 15 to 20 okay like this you can do and run it done describe employees you see the current latest size of this uh, location where care is 20 okay done next one next thing is modification is done now i would like to rename this location i would like to rename the location column name to some other column name alter table employees table name okay rename column location to yellow c one more keyword is also there guys okay i didn't cover there in this list another keyword that we have to use is two 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 keyword okay rename and two keyword rename two keyword rename column lo yellow location to yellow c okay so when i run this and uh, once it got executed when i say describe employees you will see the location got changed to yellow c the location name column column name got changed to yellow c that is also done now i would like to drop okay i would like to drop i mean delete the existing column so alter table employees rename column sorry not rename drop column which column i want to uh, delete i would like to delete loc you can delete anything you can delete id column you can delete name column you can delete experience but i am deleting the loc column okay run this so it's running it got executed now say describe employees you see only three columns are available fourth column with having the name as loc got deleted or removed okay like this so guys this, are, this is all about how to use alter statement add keyword modify column keyword rename column keyword along with two two keyword and uh, drop column keyword so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye